What's going on everybody? It is Coach Greg Adams and I'm back in here with the Ask Coach Greg Adams channel. Shout out to the coach gang. And let me introduce you to my two books, The Free Agent Lifestyle and The Evolution. The links are in the description box below. Also, also, check out this QR code, which is somewhere around here. Click on that QR code and get to all of my social media so you can follow me, follow the Free Agent Lifestyle, follow everything we're doing here, and you can get adjusted to any of the adjustments that I make to this channel and a variety of others. Speaking of which, the Ask Coach Greg Adams channel and videos are now going to be on the Notorious CGA channel. Isn't that interesting? So what's happening is I got tired of working for free, all right? And I was like, what the hell? So as you guys know, I went through a bunch of things. YouTube didn't like that channel. They didn't like a bunch of my other channels. They got this one. We're gonna keep going until we go over here. And anyway, just so you guys clear that up, yes, you're watching the NASCO's Greg Adams channel video on the Notorious channel. And with that being said, if you didn't know I had an Ask Coach Greg Adams channel, check that channel out. It's up here in one of the cards. Check this out, let's get to the show. This question came in from one of my private streams, which is a guy I really have a lot of respect for, and uh, he has his own blog, and I actually used some of his blog. I think he did a comparison between me and one Kevin Samuels, rest in peace, rest in peace. And uh, shout out to this guy. Here's the deal. Um, he kind of was talking about, hey man, I listen to a lot of RP content creators, and you know what I mean? He he seems to have been in the space for a long time. He's fully aware of what everybody's position and philosophy is. And now he's at a point where he's just ready to go out there and he's ready to meet some women. All right, he want to meet women. He want to congregate with them. He want to fornicate. He want to do all of this stuff. And he's was he asked something or he insinuated that he wanted to meet women and that I'm not supporting it or the red pill guys aren't supporting it, right? His idea is that RP content creators are not encouraging people to meet women, right? So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, as we say it here. And this is a new hat. All right, I'm going to get that bill just right. All right, anyway, here's the thing. Well, the thing is this. The free agent lifestyle oftentimes get misconstrued as a segregations philosophy, meaning I'm encouraging men to segregate themselves from the general population of women, which are the most populous form of our species. Don't associate with them. Don't get an airline ticket to associate with them. Do not cohabitate. Do not be a girlfriend. Do not get married to them. Now, I know that seems like the case, but this is why I wrote the book, The Free Agent Lifestyle, all right? is so that you can see what I am trying to suggest to a lot of men and what a lot of men get wrong, okay? Especially what they think I'm talking about. Now, here's the idea. Most men are broke, most men are down bad, most men are misdirected, most men are misguided and undecided, most men are broke dating, most men are putting women first. And what I wanted to encourage men to do is to put yourself first. And this is called the free agent lifestyle, right? Learn how to travel by yourself. Learn how to get a job. Learn how to get a side hustle. Learn how to get your credit score above 700. Learn how to not go bankrupt over women. Learn how to protect your seed. Learn how to protect your meat, your money, energy, attention, and time. Build something of your own that you can be proud of. And then when you do that, the book insinuates this. The book refers to this. When you do that, at some particular point, you'll want to re-engage or re-enter into what we call the marketplace, which is dating, relationships, whatever it is. That, that's the marketplace. And then what you'll do is, because you built yourself up to that point, you probably are going to be very careful of how you enter the marketplace, meaning there's no desperation. There's no, stra there's no manipulation. There's no trickery. There's no, nothing that you have to become, right, uh, in order to impress the individual. You have leverage and options. You have everything that you need to make a good decision. And more than likely, what I said was in the book. You can read it. Guys, read the book if you really want to understand what I'm talking about here. Then I said, you will probably won't be as careless with your decisions once you have value, once you have leverage, once you have options. You're not going to be as dumb as to make some of the dumb decisions that uh, you would normally make without 
any of these things built. That is the most important part of the book, which most people miss. See, if I told you just to segregate with women, all right, to segregate with dating, don't ever date again. Well, you know what that's called? That's called being a monk, all right? And there is monk mode, and there is periods of monk modes, and then there was a Tibetan monk, all right? You think I'm telling you to just be a monk, all right? No, I'm not telling you that, and I'm not, I, I, I hope you're not getting that. What it says in the book, and it says it about four to five times in several different chapters, the goal of this is to build yourself up to a point where you have leverage and options or you have a value amongst yourself that you're not going to be willing to just throw away. You're going to vet. You're going to be careful. You're not just going to move in a woman with a woman because you're down bad, because you're homeless, because you're bankrupt, because your single mom kicked you out of your house as an adult. You're not going to do it. You're going to be willing to say, I'm not going to do it under that desperation because I don't need to. You're not going to get married off of just a whim, an emotion. Look, you're not going to do it. You're going to actually be calculated. And if you do get married, you're going to take all of the precautions to protect everything you built, right? Because you know what it takes to build it. So you're not just going to be like, okay, let's get married for love. Like a lot of guys do when they're kind of broken down bad, right? That's what we're trying to get to to avoid. So if a person says, look, coach, man, I'm tough. I'm tired of this RP stuff. I'm tired of the free agent lifestyle. I want to go out and meet women. Who said you can't go meet women? Okay. Now, Dating on Tinder is one thing. When you go hogging on Tinder, that's probably not something that I don't encourage. But listen, when you're down bad, you're down bad. When you want to get out of, you want to get out of a little bit of a, uh, you know, a, a dry spell, you got to do what you got to do. But you're not going to get frustrated by the process. See, a lot of guys go on Tinder, they go on Bumble, and they deal with these women, and they flake, and they double date, and then they get cheated on, and then these women say things like, how tall are you, and what do you do for a living? These things would frustrate the hell out of men so bad because men didn't have everything that they, these women wanted. And then you get on dating apps and you get frustrated that people flake and frustrated with the attitudes you're dealing with on these dating apps. Thus, I would tell you, it's time to be a free agent. It's time to go, you need to go your own way. You need to take a break, okay? Because if that's frustrating you, and if women um, 304s don't want to settle down and commit to marriage up until they're 30, 31, 32, and that frustrates you, you need to take a break. You need to take a break. That's what the free agent lifestyle is about. Now, what's going to happen is you'll build yourself up enough to where if you deal with one of these low hanging fruit these straggle daggles all right skeezers scab penalty skeezers you wouldn't even have an honest conversation with this individual enough to even frustrate you you understand because of your values here and her values way down there soon as she opens her mouth with that chicken box you're out of there you're like this is not even a conversation they don't even roll in the circles that you roll in they don't even play where you play they can't even afford to even understand your lifestyle. That's what the free agent lifestyle is about. It's not about should you cold approach or not. It's not about should you meet women and talk and engage. I often tell you, even in the book, again, get the book. Even in the book, we tell you, more than likely when you start doing things you like to do, you'll probably be around people, men and women that have common interests that make the conversation that much easier. So it's not a cold approach. Okay, just cold approaching by itself is like uh, putting yourself lower and putting a complete stranger with lower value than you and you're pushing that, you're, you're, you're introducing yourself just on that. You're basically putting yourself inferior to that person and it is almost as dumb as doing uh, dating on Tinder and Bumble when you don't have no value. Both of those strategies are goofy to me, but when you have leverage and options, you actually can be able to select what position you want to be in. And that is the whole purpose of the free agent lifestyle, not a segregation of women, not avoiding them. It's almost impossible to do it unless you have the spirit of a true monk to be able to discipline yourself to live a lifestyle without them, to live in existence without them. It ain't gonna happen other than that. I also talk about, cause people think, oh, what do you do? Not talk to women when you go out? Are you crazy? First of all, I have what we call uh, cold approach, that's one. And then I go into warm leads, hot referrals. All right, you probably are gonna be best dealing with women, all right? And this is when women are on their best behavior, when people are on the referral level. In other words, social circle, dynamics are close. She has a reputation to protect. She can't do nothing stupid with you. She can't play silly girly games. 
you probably are dealing with the hot referral area and obviously if you're doing something that it, uh, uh, that is common that you enjoy and they're in that element you're probably going to be in there in that same element where you have a common group of people or common interests where the reputations matter and no goofy games will be, will be played. You can deal with the warm leads if you want, but referrals are always best, all right? And when people, referral can be this. You build yourself enough. She actually did the uh, background work to see who you are. That's a referral, all right? Your lifestyle was actually referred her to you. These people more likely, more than likely, not always, more than likely are more cooperative, fit, friendly. They're more likely to play that role longer than the women that you meet on Tinder that say, what do you do for a living? What kind of car do you drive? You know, these people are going to be more willing to do that. And you want to be in the hot referral, warm lead. At least cold approach is loser mentality. Look, if you don't have enough value to be in the right places, to be in the right spaces with enough women where you got to approach 5, 10, 15, 20 in a day, in a week, all right, that tells me you don't have the value that you believe that you want to have and you're pushing some sort of strategy in order to meet them. That's a, you need to reset just like the other guys that are dating tender, low-hanging fruit and just can't get it. Look, get your credit score up above 700. Get yourself a, a place, a place where you can get her in there and a woman can be a screamer. You're not living with roommates, your mom, your brother, siblings. You're not in that position. If you're in that position, take yourself off the market, get into the free, free agent lifestyle, okay? Then, once you build yourself up and it can take a year, five years, 10 years, however long it takes, then talking to women, meeting them is no big deal. Okay, but if you make it a big deal, then that means you're not ready. It should be very simple. Um, that's how I look at it. It should be very simple. But get the message right. And the way to get the message right is to read the book. I'm not teaching segregationism. I'm not teaching, don't, I'm not teaching avoid women at all costs. I'm not teaching that. All right, so if you get to the position where you've learned everything you need to learn from everybody in this space, and you feel comfortable like, hey, what do I have to lose? All right, here, here you, you want to walk up to women all day? Go ahead. Now, last point on this one. It's not about meeting women. It's about keeping them or at least keeping them in a position where they know who they are and what they mean to you. So a lot of guys will say, hey, meet women. Guys, meeting women is the beginning. That's 10% of the whole process of dealing with them. Now, how do you maintain one? How do you get into the system where she gets malfunctioned and you got to repair her? What about replacing her? See, meeting women is one thing, and that's the smallest part. If you can't even get out of that block, that means your value is low or your leverage is low or you don't have enough options. If you can't even get out of that block, stay a free agent. Stay your own way. Then, can you maintain that woman? Listen, the biggest expense with women is not $40 dating. It's maintaining her. So once you get one and you commit to one, that's the blank check that you write. Can you afford that? Most men cannot. All right. Then can you repair her because most of them are broken? What are you going to do when she breaks down? Then if she breaks out, you got to replace them. That's a cost. And most guys that are making this about meeting women, guys, you can't even maintain, replace, and repair one. And until you can, go to Free Agent Lifestyle. Well, anyway, subscribe to my channel. Shout out to the Coach Gang. And we back. Peace.